I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, there is a link in the video description below to a demonstration and to where you can get the rules. Playing solitaire is a great way to practice decision making, but it's also a great way to try out some strategies. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. Player 2 will get 27 tiles. Then we're gonna look at each player's hands and see where the strengths lie. We'll be able to pick out a category or two to focus on, maybe even pick out a hand. Wow, look at Pong of White Dragons. We have a pair of flowers, a pair of flowers, oh my gosh. Three, two, one. We have, okay, start over. Three, two, one. We have two jokers, a flower, a dragon. Okay, start over. Three, <laughs> two, one. We have two jokers, a flower, we have the dragons, including a pung of white dragons. North and south, pair of north. Cracks with a pair of twos and a pair of sevens. One, two, six, seven, nine. In dots, we have a pung of fours and a five, six, nine. For bams, we have a pair of five bams and a seven and an eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a year hand and probably something consecutive with four, five. We could maybe play news concealed with the year, or we could play the second hand down in one suit. Since we have white dragons, I don't think I would play a pair hand with four or five dragon. We're missing a four bam. I also don't think I would play four or five dragon because it would really deplete the hand up here for the year. Maybe we could hold the six, four, five, six. If we can get five cracks, maybe we could play the concealed hand, or we could always play the second hand down, four, five, six, seven. Let's just hold this. Maybe even that, we could play four, five, six with sevens. That would be the fourth hand down. Let's start by discarding these. We probably don't need the dragons unless we played maybe two zero one nine. 
and dragons. Let's start by discarding those. See what happens. Let's look and see what we can do for player two. For this player, we have a joker, four flowers, lots of cracks, one, two, three, five, six, eight, nine. We have a pair of threes and a pair of eights. We have a single red dragon, single east and south. We have three dots with a pair of sixes and a one. And then we have bams, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Pairs four and nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your discards? If these were my tiles, I would leverage those flowers in an addition hand. Play eight, five, 13, and then down here, maybe three, six, nine. We're gonna need one of the threes up here, but we do have a joker, maybe we could get more. I would probably discard these first. Hmm, seven discards. This would be joker bait. Joker bait is a term coined by Tom Sloper, and you basically keep a pair that you don't need. Here we're playing addition and 369, so we don't need four bams. But instead of discarding, keep the pair. Later in the game, discard one. Maybe your opponent will claim a discard to make an exposure with a joker, and you can use the second one to get the joker in an exchange. So we'll hold that for a while. If you wanna see how that works, there are videos. I have links in the video description below. So we'll discard those. Eight, five, 13 flowers. Maybe even use this down here. We could Kong or draw more. We need help with the five. Maybe use the joker there. We'll see. Three, six, nine. Three, six. Three, six, nine. First hand. Maybe pair hand. We'll see. We really don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. We'll just gather. We could play maybe three, six, nine mix suit Kongs. We're ready to start the game. Let's discard nine dot. Oh, well that's convenient. Eight crack, that's a keeper. Let's discard the wins. East. Okay, that might be helpful if we play news with the year concealed. Let's discard eight bam. We got a two bam. We have two, four, six, eight, but here's our multiple six, nine. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Let's discard East. Six bam. Five, six, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. All four, five, six, seven here. We could do North and South with dragons. I think we need to whittle this down. 
four, five, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six with fives. Let's get rid of, oh wait, we were going to maybe do four, five, six with sevens. Let's discard six bam. So we could maybe do four, five, six with sevens or four, five, six, seven. We'll see. Green dragon. Let's see, we have all the sixes. Let's discard one dot. Two bam, we don't need that. Let's see, can we fit all this in? Two dot, I don't think we need any of these. Two dot. I don't think that's gonna work. Six across, we'll see if that fits. Flower, we'll keep it. So now we need to decide four, five, six with fives. We have a gap, no five crack. Four, five, six with sevens or four, five, six, seven. It'd be nice to use these flowers. Let's break up the fives. I want to keep these dragons just in case because we could maybe do north and south with dragons. Although I think this, this hand here is really close if we use the jokers. Let's give up on the dragon hand and give up the north. North and south with dragons is the third hand down under winds and dragons. Four bam. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Let's, let's give up the two crack. This is concealed. And we only need a pair. Three dot. Okay, now we have three, four, five, six. I don't think that was really very helpful, but let's just go ahead and give up on the dragons. Green. Nine, bam. This could be up here, joker bait. We'll just hold that. The dragons. Let's see, green was thrown. We have mixed suits here. Let's discard green dragon. We maybe could have used it with three, six, nine concealed, but we have no three. One bam, not a keeper. Two dot. We got a West. Nice. Okay. This hand is ready to win on a nine crack. News, pair, pung, pung, pair. Ready to win on a nine crack. Let's discard Red Dragon. We'll see. It'd be better to draw some ones so we can maybe use those jokers down here. East. Two bam, that's been thrown. Five bam. Five bam. This is not gonna be good joker bait because this player discarded a five bam. Whoa, two dot. Now we have two, three, four, five, six. Let's just get rid of the five bams. Eight. 
eight dot. Well, red dragon was discarded. Let's throw that. One crack. Well, that frees up a joker down here. Let's discard five, bam. If we can get another one crack, this will be pure. It's concealed though. We have to draw it. Let's draw. Four crack. We're getting a lot of two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, four, six. Let's discard seven, bam. That was the last tile on the second wall. We are going into the third wall now. Everybody should know what category they're playing. Here we're playing consecutive and year. Here we're playing 369 and addition. We got a five dot. I think these probably can go four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, or we could do four, five, six and leverage these flowers. Let's get rid of seven, bam. So we're still consecutive. I think we could probably get rid of these two. Three dot. One bam, we don't need that. Oh, I could have gotten rid of that three dot, but that'll be a good discard next. North. Red dragon, that's been thrown. Oh gosh, that's a good keeper right there. Five crack, we could maybe use this we're ready to Kong here, here, and here. Let's discard eight, uh, that's an eight dot. Okay, ready to draw for player one. Oh, three dot, and that really doesn't matter because this player threw a three dot. We can throw the two dot and consider three, four, five Kongs. We might need to use this for that three though. I think probably we can give up the six, seven and focus on three through six with these flowers. We could either do four, five, six or three, four, five. Seven dot. We got a three crack, we don't need it. Three crack, and up here, we could pong with that, but I wouldn't, because I don't even know what hand we're playing. If anything, I would want a Kong. But if we were to Kong, we would need to use our only joker, and we need this three for addition, and who knows where it is. We have two big walls to go. I would let it go and go with another option for these tiles. We got a six. I think that was a good choice. So I think we can get rid of all these. Two BAM is out. Let's see. Two BAM is out. There's two out. I was thinking we could do two, four, six, eight with four, six. In the middle of that mixed suit hand, fourth one down under evens, but there's already two two bams out. So I think I would get rid of that. Let's focus on three six nine. We got a three crack. Discard. Up here, we need to think about it because 
that's the last one. We have the other two. I was also thinking maybe we could do, let's see, we need that three here, like numbers with sixes, because that three is going to keep us from using this as a pair, and we need a single up here. Unless we, we rework this entire thing. For example, we could do four, five, six mixuit Kongs, and then we could use a pair of flowers there, a pair of flowers here for, if we did four, five, six mixuit Kongs, and then down here we could do Still a 369, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Let's think about it. Either way, we don't need that three, I don't think. I think we should let it go. Let's draw. We got a flower. Okay. This hand is almost, this is one away from ready. Or we could use it down here. Let's focus on 369 or like numbers with sixes. Or like numbers with nines, although we have no six dot or nine dot. It'd be nice if we could get a three dot. We might be able to rescue this three six nine hand. This addition hand is one away from ready, so I think we should just sit tight. Let's discard. Let's discard the eight bam. Two dot, that's already been thrown. Five bam, consecutive. Let's see, four, four, five, four, five. I think we should stick with it. Let's get rid of four crack. Four dot. Okay, there's a Kong in there now. Let's give up on these. Six crack. Up here we need to make a choice, I think. So I think I want to use this Joker up here for addition. And here, hmm, that's the first six crack out. We are so light with our threes. Six crack. Hmm. This is rough. Hmm. Three, the two threes are out. We have two threes right here. I don't think those are going to be helpful. Sixes. We have all the sixes. I don't think I would Kong. I think I would let it go. Seven dot. Eight crack. Up here, let's Kong. Okay, so this hand is ready to win on a five. Let's discard five bam. We're going to need some help down here. Okay, that's helpful. I think we should focus on three, four, five Kongs, one suit. We can use this joker for the three that we let go earlier or we weren't ready for here. We can use that to help us Kong. Let's discard seven crack. Okay, we got a six. 
that's nice. We have all the sixes. I'm kind of wondering if we should switch to like numbers with sixes. We'll just keep it all. Let's discard four, bam. South, we have news. Joker. Now we could Mahjong here, but I'd rather wait because once you declare Mahjong, the Jokers are locked. Let's wait and see if we can maybe use them down here. Let's discard four, bam. Eight, bam. We got a two crack. No. Don't need it. Eight dot. Okay, we need a th maybe a three dot or more sixes. Oh, we got a five crack. Very nice. We can use these down here, and this is ready to win on a pure hand. Five crack. So let's discard four bam. Let's see. We have all these sixes. This three, I think, can go. I'm kind of thinking like numbers with sixes. Like numbers with sixes. Let's draw. Green. Okay, we need sixes. Okay, there's a nine. Whoops. <laughs> Look at all these. Okay, let's just see. Three, six, nine. All right, three, six, nine. We have no three dot, no three bam. I was thinking about the pair hand, but we've got these jokers. I wouldn't play a pair hand with these jokers. I would want to use them. So what could we do? Three, six, six, nine with flowers second from the bottom we're really light in threes and all these threes are down i wouldn't play that one the other hand with flowers is three six nine mixed suit kongs or three six nine and one suit we don't have threes i think i would give up on three six nine and focus on like numbers with sixes Let's see. So we need to discard. Let's get rid of the three crack. Eight bam. One bam. One dot. Nine dot, oh my gosh, look at the nines. Okay, nines. We have a pair, a pung, and a single. Here we have all pairs. There's a nine dot out. A six bam is out. It's really six one half dozen the other. The nine crack is where we're weak. Let's discard nines. Nine crack. Okay, now that is Mahjong right here. That's the first nine crack out. We can claim it for Mahjong, but we're two away from double Mahjong. And we might even be able to get this to pure. Since this player discarded on a nine crack, They'll discard it again if they draw it. So let's wait. West. This is risky. Four crack. North. Be nice if we could draw it. Three bam. Now we get a three bam. Three, six, nine. We have no other threes. Let's discard. Seven crack. 
six pan. All right, now we're cooking with oil. Let's get rid of nine dot. Last tile, third wall, red dragon. I want to draw that nine crack. It's this player's turn. We're in the end game now. Last wall. Here we're ready to win. We're set. We just need to Kong. Here we're ready to win if we use a joker up here on a nine crack. We're ready to Kong. I would play to win for everybody. Well, both players. Oh my gosh, like numbers with nines would have come in for this player too. We just couldn't get threes. Oh, they got the nine. Okay, we're ready to win on a pure hand. No jokers. And we can use this down here. Let's get rid of seven crack. Three bam. Eight dot. Five dot. Down here, let's Kong. And we'll discard six dot. So they're ready to win on a one crack for a pure hand. This hand is a ready, a winning hand with that joker. So that we're gonna see if we can do double Mahjong. Up here, we're going to Kong. So this is hand two. We'll discard nine dot. One dot. So we're ready on double Mahjong. If a three dot goes down, I think I would take it for double Mahjong. Flower, we don't need it. Yes, we do. We need it up here. Oh, four flowers. They weren't really ready. Nine bam. Seven bam. Four crack. West. We want to get a one crack or a three dot. One bam. One crack or three dot. White. We don't need it. Pair, pung, pung, pair. White dragon. Two bam. Six dot. Exchange, please. And I would take it for double Mahjong. Even though it's not pure, it's still double. Three, six, nine to like numbers with sixes. Two away and they were ready on a five crack for a pure addition hand. Then down here, double Mahjong. And they self-picked by exchanging a joker. So they will get double for each. This is a 30 point hand, so that'll be 60. And this is a 25 point hand, so that'll be 50. So that's 110 points. And this player had no winning hand. Now, really, they maybe could have used this for a winning hand, but they didn't declare it. I was hoping for a pure hand, so I wanted to wait. That's the risk you take. Your opponent could declare double Mahjong, so they have to pay double for both. Timing is critical with any game of Mahjong, but even more so with Siamese Mahjong. At any time, 
one of the players could declare double mahjong and end the game. Player two was waiting on a pure hand, and that would have been a double value hand. It was a hand that could use jokers, but a pure hand would double the value, and they were only two away from ready on a double mahjong themselves. You just never know, but you should consider declaring a winning hand if you're in the last wall, because the risk you take by waiting is your opponent declaring double mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.